August 16, 2022, a Sarasota police officer spots a woman blasting music while driving a vehicle who does not completely stop for a red light. After he conducts a traffic stop, the driver gets out of the vehicle and starts to walk away, blatantly telling the officer that she's parked, implying that she's above the law. No, you're not going to walk away from a traffic stop. It was not a traffic stop, sorry. It was not. You can't make this stuff up. Close your door. Close your door. Hey, get back in your f***ing car. Get back in your car. I parked 6205 dispatch. Females walking away from the vehicle. Take I another parked unit. Put your hands behind your back. You're not I walking away from the traffic stop. Put your hands behind your back. Get in. Put get your hands behind your back. Please go. Put your hands get behind your, your hands back. Away Put your me. hands behind your back. Get your hands. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hand behind your back. Put your other hand behind your back. Put your other hand behind your back. Get off now. Put your hand behind your back. Put your hand behind your back. What is going to No, stop. Put your other fucking Sorry. hand behind your back. Sorry, babe. No. Hey, man. I'll put... Get off of me. Five dispatch. I got one female resisting counties out with me. Put no. your fucking hand behind your back like I told you. But I did nothing wrong. Yes, you did. What did I do wrong? Ow. Stand up. Stop. I will... No, you're not going to walk man. away from a traffic stop. A tra it was not a traffic stop. Sorry. It was not. Are you serious? Are you serious? Where did we go? Are you serious? Thanks, man. Appreciate you stopping. Yeah, you can't just walk away from a traffic stop. I didn't. It's all on Thank camera. You. It's all on camera. How is it? No, I didn't. Oh, sorry. Walk to my car over here, okay? No, my per No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. You're under arrest. Why? She just left her house. She doesn't have her. Too fast. Point to your special health, bud. I can do that. 10-4. Okay. I will not fire. Sorry. Yeah, well, you're not listening to anything I'm telling you. I have to put my hands on you. You pulled me And you're resisting. Wait, wait, it was a traffic stop. Yes, it was a traffic stop. I got to tell you something. No, it wasn't. Okay, you can argue that all you want. It's all on camera. There's cameras everywhere. I know it is. Okay. And what did I do? Wrong. Please tell me. Blasting your music and you rolled the red light right here. You didn't even let me explain because no. you got out of the car and started walking away. Because I parked my car? The lights were on well before we even turned the corner. Where's your ID as in your purse? Yes. Okay. And I parked my car because... Yeah, you're right. That's a lot of room. She just won't stop. I didn't do anything wrong. But yeah. Do you mind searching it, please? Yeah. It's pretty fair. Yeah, that's fine. Do you have anything that's going to fucking stick in your car? No. Are you pretty serious? Dumb. Yeah, I'm serious. That was really dumb what you did. What did I do? I didn't do nothing wrong. Okay. All right. This woman believes that because she parked, any traffic violations become null and void. This is not the case. If you commit a traffic infraction, park, and get out of your car, a police officer can instruct you to return to your vehicle and perform the traffic stop. If you keep walking away or otherwise refuse, that would be grounds for obstruction, and you will more than likely end up in cuffs. Good. Okay, let me put you back in my car. Serious? Yeah, I'm serious. What did I do? I didn't do anything wrong. Take a seat in the car. Okay, so you're under arrest right now, okay? So I have to read your Miranda rights now and explain everything, okay? So you have a break to me sound, anything taken, you can use your block. You have a break to me sound, you can use your block. You understand all that? I need a yes or a no, because I... Yes, I heard. Okay, do you understand, though? Okay, so I stopped you because your music is louder than 25 feet away, you're blasting with the windows down. Let me explain. And then right here at the red light, you rolled it, didn't come to a complete stop right out of the line, and then I stopped you. My lights were hit back here. It's all on camera. And then you pulled in. What? So here's the thing. 
You smell like booze, your eyes are bloodshot and water, you're slurring your speech, you spilled your drink on the ground. I want to make sure you're okay to be driving. Are you okay with doing a few tests to make sure you're okay to be driving? I am fine, baby. Okay. Are you okay with running a few tests up on the curb though, taking cuffs fine. off you? Are you okay with doing a few tests I'm though? Fine. It's a yes or no question. Are you okay with doing My tests? Landlord. It's a yes or a no question. No. You don't want to do tests? I mean, my legs are I know that. So I'm ready to go. Okay. So with your slurred speech, your open alcohol container, your bloodshot watery eyes, your behavior, uh -huh. you're under arrest for DUI as well, okay? So DUI and resisting without violence, okay? Although the woman refuses to take any field sobriety tests, the officer can still arrest her for DUI based on her behavior and the odor of alcohol. Additionally, Florida has an implied consent law, and refusal of any tests can result in an immediate license suspension. All right, well, it's all on camera, so have fun with that. I literally told you verbatim, get back in your fucking car, and you didn't listen to me. I was in the park my Sunday. I was parking right there. The way I was supposed to park at. You can make you, you can make that argument when you go to court, okay? Because it's all on camera, and you can make that argument when you go to court. Holy cow! Your license is revoked. What's up with that? Hennepin County, huh? Minneapolis. That's my neck of the woods. Oh yeah! Don't you hear it in my voice? <laughs> When I called out your license plate, I said Minnesota. Um, you're going to be getting a handful of tickets. Okay, one for the music, one for the red light, one for the open. And then, and then one for the open container in your car. So I don't know. No, so listen to me, Christina. Hey, listen to me. I was the cop who passed you outside smoking Joe's before you took off. I saw your drink on your trunk as you're talking to that dude. I looped the parking lot. You're hauling down main. I get behind you. What do you know? That drink is in your passenger seat spilled all over the floor. And there was still alcohol in the cup with the lime. I saw that drink on your trunk and the ring was still on your trunk. That was not old. Okay. That's fine. I got plenty of probable cause to charge you with it. Okay. I can articulate everything. And your car got impounded. Okay. All right. Field sobriety tests are important pieces of evidence to convict offenders in DUI cases. However, they are not the only way to prove the impairment of drivers. Based on the officer's statements, it sounds like Christina is not going to get away from the charges. I would like to know what justice you did though. Okay, hop over there. Blue head. Blue head? Blue ass. Where are you from? Where are you from? Go to that door, okay? Yeah. Right there. Where are you I'm from the Midwest. You know, when I was pulling you over, I thought I was going to meet someone really nice. I saw Minnesota. Did We're people... nice. Huh? We are nice when we meet nice people. I'm nice. I just wouldn't recommend walking away from a traffic stop next time. Christina was charged with DUI and resisting without violence. The DUI charge is her third offense within the last 10 years. What do you think of this arrest and the charges? Do they fit the crime? Be sure to comment your thoughts and for more true crime related content, hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching today's video and we'll see you in the next one.